What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time, subscribe. Okay, so about two days ago, I got this, the new, the Garmin 830. It's not brand new, it's brand new in South Africa. Just came out, I think, last week. But it's been out for about three, four months now. Um, but yeah, South Africa has been launched, I think, in this week, they just passed. So, let's have a look. So that's what you find when you open the box. The little unit, super small, a lot smaller than the 1030 that I previously had. Um, the mount, rubbers to assess on the different bars that you've got, charger, speed sensor, cadence sensor, then that on the stem mount bars that you've got here, that, that's there, and then extra sizes for the cadence sensor. So I've been playing around with this little thingy for about two days now. It's super handy, a lot lighter. So I claimed weight's like 79 grams. I'll pop it on the scale. But yeah, overall I'm super happy with it so far. It um, haven't given me any problems. I've had software updates so far. I did that quickly. Um, and just all the functions that it's got is just, there's a lot of extra functions. It tells you how adapted you are to altitude. It also shows you, it breaks your training load down into efforts, long rides, easy rides, whatever. It breaks that down as well. And it also gives you power curves on the device itself. So this little thing is super handy. The battery life is also something like 20 hours. Crazy. It's, it's just, it's phenomenal. So I only recently decided that I want to get the smaller Garmin again. Well, again, I've never had the smaller Garmin. I, I, my first Garmin was the... Um, Edge 1000 then I upgraded to the 1030 when that came out and then recently I decided I wanted to go to this little one my pure reason for that is the issues I had with the 1030 not um, <coughs> operating problems and issues but just the bracket this piece that little piece that clips in there always broke off when I either <coughs> rode on rough terrain over speed bumps too hard or too aggressively or cobblestones when I was in Belgium so after replacing it to now receiving my fourth comment so it broke three times receiving my fourth replacement I just decided it's not worth it I'll swap it out and I'll see what I can do with this little one they've also changed the size I won't say size but the 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 shape of the cadence sensor and speed sensor both of them are a little bit smaller I don't know lighter or whatever, but I use a power meter for cadence and GPS for speed. But if you use these, yeah, they look cool now. If you've ever, ever had a Garmin 1030 or you're busy using a Garmin 1030, this is basically a 1030 in a smaller package with, I think, extra features. I think the features that are on here that's not on the 1030 will probably come with software updates I think in the next few weeks or months maybe this, definite, this thing definitely has a few extra features including the altitude adaptive thing there's this one thing that it measures your breaths per minute that's also something new that's on here so definitely an upgrade and um, I'll recommend it I'm, I'm very impressed so far I've only used it for two days I will still come across problems I think but for now Super impressed. Um, oh, and a reminder, if I can get to a thousand subs, Campbell Espresso Cups. Don't forget, a giveaway. So remember, if I get to a thousand subs, then I will give a set of these away. Campbell Espresso Cups. So subscribe. Um.